Hello everyone, this is the Long Lost Gamer and we're back with some more Civilization VI. Today we'll be playing as Catherine de' Medici, Black Queen version. Uh, just to review her abilities, she has one level of diplomatic visibility greater than normal with every civilization that she's met, which means a combat strength bonus for all of her military units. She receives a free spy and extra spy capacity with the castle's technology, which is pretty early. All spies start as agents with a free promotion, so that's nice. She also gets 20% bonus production towards medieval, renaissance, and industrial era wonders, and the tourism from wonders of any era is doubled. Her uh, unique unit, the God Imperial, is a French unique industrial era melee unit that replaces the line infantry plus 10 combat strength when fighting on your capital's continent, so it's a pretty good defensive unit. Uh, and finally, the Chateau, a unique tile improvement, which is made with builders, must be placed adjacent to bonus or luxury resources, gives you a little extra culture, gold, tourism, etc. All right, so the settings are simple, deity, Pangaea, uh, abundant resources, new world age, wet rainfall, and we're going to play with monopolies and corporations. So this is likely to be yet another uh, culture victory that we're going to see, I'm imagining, and it'll probably done primarily with uh, big boosts from monopolies, but we'll see how it goes. So let's hop in. All right, let's see what the world generator has provided us today. Uh, well, it's not a very exciting start. Let's see. Hmm. Got really good campus locations, at least, right off the bat. And this might actually be a plus four. I can't remember with the uh, map tax mod if it reveals for you uh, potential topography nearby that you haven't yet uncovered. Like, if there is another mountain right here, this should actually be plus four adjacency, but we do not yet know. All right, so we are probably just going to settle in place. Yeah, nothing else really jumps out at me as a better alternative, so let's go ahead and do this. It might be the case that I might re-roll this game. I do want to try to get a uh, an achievement that's specific to France, and it does require me to have wine in my empire, so I'm hoping to find wine relatively early on to make that doable. But for now, let's play through this map. What are we going to get first? Um, in this case, I think we would benefit most from getting mining first. We've got two hill stone tiles. We would like to actually harvest that stone, which we can't do until after masonry. But for now, putting a quarry on one or both of them would be fine, just to give us a, a decent couple of productive tiles. After that, we'll probably go Animal Husbandry to get the furs online. And it's not impossible that we might see horses on this plains tile, this grassland tile, or even this grassland or that one tile. Uh, I don't think they appear on floodplains, so we won't see them on these two. All right, there's mining. Our first thing to build, of course, is a scout. And I was right. That is a mountain. Map tax mod did not reveal any additional information. So this will be a great place for a campus. Unlike the last playthrough, we are not going to prioritize making a religion, so even though these would also be great places for uh, holy sites, uh, it's just not going to be a priority for this playthrough. Do a little scouting with the warrior. Another possible Petra city. Okay, so we're close to the coast. It's always nice for the extra defensiveness that you get from that situation. Okay, so we discovered our first barbarian camp already. It's pretty early. So this warrior is going to be busy for a while. That's okay, though. That's kind of their purpose in the early part of the game. Um, I think it makes more sense for us to focus on attacking the scout initially. Because their combat strength is so low, we can get some quick experience on our warrior. And this scout will not be able to move further 
um, very much maybe just onto this hill, or maybe it'll try to run away from the warrior. Might be able to kill it uh, next turn if we're lucky. Ooh, we got a lot of rice. This might be a watermill game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a second scout before we build anything else. It's a Pangaea map, so there's a lot of scouting to be done. It's my kind of standard opener for a Pangaea or Continents map. Okay, so the scout ran away. It's not much of a surprise. We will just go ahead and heal up. Man, another plus four campus location right here. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, we met Buenos Aires. That's cool. Uh, that's the wrong tab. And we were the first to meet them, so we already got an envoy there, which means we'll get plus one production in the capital uh, for wonders, buildings, and districts. Not that useful in the early game. The two most useful, maybe three most useful, uh, for the very earliest part of the game are science, culture, and faith uh, associated city states. Uh, the faith ones aren't too important unless you're playing a faith game in general, but if you discover one early, that means that you can get to your pantheon. Um, that much sooner. Getting an early Pantheon can be really handy. Oh, so there's more Barbarians over here. Hopefully, Buenos Aires can deal with them on their own. Uh, yeah, we're totally going to kill that scout. Oh, got an extra pop in the capital. I don't hate that. Two turtles right here, and we could get a plus four campus here as well because of that. I bet you this is probably right here, Plains Hill style, so there's a good chance we'll put a city over here eventually. Okay, we're going to go ahead and keep moving on, get our animal husbandry. I'm looking forward to getting the furs online early. And we do have wine here, so this is certainly a playthrough with some potential. Oh man, that's pretty rough. Yeah, they're on... Forested Hills, which gives them plus six combat strength and plus six fortified defense. Uh, let's take the tribal village first. Ooh, that wasn't very good. And carefully we'll start scouting in this direction a little bit. We don't want to have to deal with too many barbarians. We're going to grab a builder right away. Uh, after that, it's almost certainly going to be a settler. That may change if we have to deal with more barbarians. Uh, it will be easier to deal with this camp once we have Code of Laws, so we can plug in Discipline, uh, the policy card Discipline, for extra combat strength against barbarians. Uh-oh. All right, so we need to use this scout to strategically scare off the barbarian scout and, uh, right next to our city. We'll heal up first. And as much as I would like to go do... No, we can manage it with one scout. Let's get some exploration going. Hmm, not the direction I expected. There isn't another barbarian camp down here, is there? Which way are you going to run, scout? Okay, that's pretty rough. Uh, let's plug in the Discipline card and God King as well. That was pretty fast. What? I huh? guess that's right. We are on standard game speed, yeah? I guess I can check the number. Yeah, number of turns is 500. All right, that's a little bit better. Evens things out just a wee bit. Uh, but we also have the option to heal up. The Spearman is not that uh, proactive in attacking. They want to prioritize defen defending their camps. They only really try to attack uh, slingers or heavily wounded units. Uh, we will go ahead and research craftsmanship. I think this builder already will have enough to do that we can get a boost for craftsmanship quite quickly. Oh, we've met Carthage. Interesting. Where are you, Carthage? Better send them a delegation right away. Uh-huh. Go ahead and 
attack the scout one more time. Ah, there they are. So they're probably not too far away. This is not a bad desert city location. It probably will become a Petra city. And we can even put a decent campus here also if we felt like it. Not sure that we would want to get rid of a good Petra hill, but we'll, we'll see. Got time to think about it. All right, there's animal husbandry. There's Carthage. Oh, pretty close. All right, there's our builder. So we're going to go ahead and throw down a quarry on this stone and a camp on these furs. I'd kind of like to expand to the rice and put a farm on that so we can get boost for irrigation as well. Um, I think it makes sense to go pottery next, get our early game text out of the way. There's the quarry, and we don't see that many hills around here, so I'm going to take the ranger promotion on the scout, and we'll heal him up afterwards to get him up into uh, good, good shape. Working on a settler, I'm per perfectly okay with that being our next thing to do. We might even want to forward settle somewhere around here. But of course, to do that, we're going to have to have a military unit that can escort the settler and make sure that this barbarian camp is no threat. Uh, maybe Phoenicia will, or uh, the Carthaginians, rather, will get rid of them. She's Carthaginian, right? No, Phoenician. Oh, boy. <laughs> now this warrior's got his work cut out for him, so I guess he's going to fortify for now. This builder, yeah, we do want that rice. So, but we'll get the luxury online first. It would be nice to take Paris's amenities up a little bit. Okay, so we got a promotion, but it's more important to kill this barbarian camp. We're going to do that first. Boom. Boom. It gave us two era score for crushing that barbarian camp. The scout will heal for one turn and then get back to the good, good scouting stuff. That's fine. Now we promote with Battle Cry. Put a camp down. That wasn't enough amenities. It's too bad. There goes the Great Bath already, turn 22. I expect nothing less. Uh, we'll go ahead and start bringing this warrior up to maybe deal with this barbarian camp. You're going to come and irrigate that rice with a farm. We found another city-state, Singapore. Not a big deal. Yep, I think we've got a wonder over here. Maybe Everest? We'll see. Gosh, that's a lot of Phoenician units already. Something tells me they're going to try to kill Singapore, and they will probably get away with it, but we'll see. All right, what do we want to get next? Uh, we could go for masonry, and honestly, we could possibly chop out an early pyramids here. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and research masonry. Now we've got one, two, three chops right here. I think that's enough to finish the pyramids, so one builder could do it for us, and we could purchase a builder for 215 gold. I think that will be the plan. Okay, we need to bring this warrior back to heal a little. Yep, Mount Everest, sure enough. And what are the benefits? Plus one faith to adjacent tiles. Also, <laughs> units that move next to Everest ignore hill tiles for the rest of the game. So I should not take the hill promotion on this scout. We are going to launch directly into another settler. This settler... Hmm, I don't know. I could gamble going this direction. 
of plenty of territory to settle. So I do think it might make sense to be a little bit more aggressive. All right, we got the boost for irrigation and craftsmanship. So craftsmanship's almost over. If we could get Magnus settled in soon, I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. If we could, then it'd be that much easier to get the pyramids. How is production here? I mean, it's not terrible. Eight production will get up to size four again. So maybe something like ten production. Now we could also uh, harvest the stone to try and pursue the pyramids. We generally don't get much time to build the pyramids. Risky. Oh, I cannot move him onto this tile without a warrior on top. That sounds like a very bad idea. All right, next we will go ahead and take foreign trade. I don't think we will get a very exciting pantheon in this game, but I am okay with that. Okay, we found another city-state, Venice. Nice to see you again. The settler's gonna wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need to take the ranger promotion. That's gonna be a super mobile scout now. Another city-state? Fez, where are you? Ooh. Okay, I do not mind having Fez in the game. More science city-states is always welcome by me. I don't definitely want that tribal village. Yeah, and I think we will probably settle... Let's see. Well, if we can take out this barbarian encampment, I might, in fact, put a city right there. Uh, that would give us an okay amount of space to build up districts and the like. Too many good campuses around where I started. I suppose this could be a science game as well. Hey, Gilgamesh, nice to meet you. Let's exchange capital information. You are way over here, so certainly never going to be a threat. Uh, Gilgamesh is one of the few civilizations that you can instantly declare friendship with the first turn after you meet him. It's not a bad idea, because he tends to be a little bit belligerent. It's nice to have him on your side. So we're buddies now, and he's already met three other civs. They've met one. I don't understand why you're moving so slowly. Didn't you get the bonus from Mount Everest? Oh, religious units ignore hills only. Ah, fair enough. I didn't read the text. Okay, so yeah, we do get to take out that camp. That's another three era score, which guarantees at least a normal age for us. I'm going to assume that there is not a tribal village in these five squares, so I'm going to have uh, this scout unit continue to the north. Ooh, we got a free governor title. I love it. That's one of the best things you can get early in the game from a tribal village. So we'll have Magnus in here pretty quick. That's nice. That means we get, let's take a look, his initial ability, Groundbreaker. You get plus 50% yields from plot harvests and feature removals in the city where he's established, so we get that much more production out of chopping woods or harvesting stone. And actually we should switch away from the settler and maybe make a builder instead. Hard build it. Let's save the gold. Should we save the gold? Maybe we shouldn't. Our gold income's not bad. It's good to put it to use early in the game. Okay. It's settled then. We'll keep working on the settler. I will wait to purchase the builder until it's time to actually use them, although it would be nice to get them into position. We've got seven turns. We'll wait. Oh, that slinger might be able to kill my warrior. That would be annoying. It's good defensive terrain, though, so I think he'll survive. Yeah, sure, I'll take your delegation. Yep, we did survive. That's fantastic. Now we build this city here. That is where we want to build it, yeah. I mean, we don't have that many options. Phoenicia is not going to be happy. I'm going to have to probably be ready to defend this city. Uh, but, you know, that should make for 
a more exciting game experience, especially compared to my last playthrough with the Kamai, where I was pretty much just entirely OP the entire game. Oh, I'm really going to want to know if we can put a super campus in here somewhere. Not great terrain for making cities, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a lot of red here. Probably will end up putting something around here and just aqueducting to make it grow. You know, maybe something like a city right here, and the aqueduct could be anywhere because there's a lot of sources of fresh water nearby. Let's say this tile, perhaps to make sure that it has enough housing to keep growing. All right, so we've got this city here now. I think it actually would make a lot of sense to go ahead and build another military unit, followed by Monument Granary. That's a lot of rainforest. My gosh. Maybe a good game for building Chichen Itza. Yeah, let's bring this scout back in this direction. Another tribal village. We've gotten quite a few tribal villages in this game. Not as amazing of results as in my last playthrough, but still pretty good. One more pop. That went to Paris. Uh, that is good, because that means more production. Two more turns until we can access this tile as well. Uh, I think we go ahead and buy our builder. We could smack that slayer. I don't think we're going to get a Golden Age here. Um, golden Ages won't be that important to my strategy for this playthrough anyway, so I don't really care. We should really purchase this tile. It's a bit of a gamble, but it's fun to gamble a little bit in this game. So we're going to go ahead and buy that tile, and we are almost certainly expanding to this stone um, in the next turn. Okay, so there's two chops, and I don't have to buy the tiles. Heal our warrior up. Wait. Now well, they didn't take over Singapore, but they did make another city in that direction. Okay, so we now have masonry. We got another settler. We're placing the pyramids. And choppity chop, that only took four turns off. That's not fantastic, but maybe we'll get away with it. Uh, Phoenicia's not too upset with me settling over here so far, but I think I don't want to push that. Uh, not yet. So let's take a moment to consider where we might place some cities on this map. I think that a city here or here would be perfectly fine. I'm inclined to maybe choose this location because this city's borders will grow for sure, so we probably won't get these tiles. I do think this is a perfectly fine location for another city. We may end up putting a city down here as a just a sort of harbor city. It's always good to have at least a couple of those. This city won't have anything to do except making gold for us, probably. So I wouldn't be surprised if I end up doing something like a harbor and a commercial hub. 3-3. Three, three. I mean, that's pretty good for the beginning of a game. Um, I was correct. This is a Plains Hill. We will almost certainly put a city here. That... One, two, three... Four, that's... Yeah. We don't need to fill in the land completely. One, two, three, four. This does look like a decent place for a city. It's got fresh water, plains hills, uh, access to wine, citrus, rice and rice. This rice might go to Paris, but no, because it's on the first ring. So if we settle a city here, it will definitely take this rice. We might pop it over to the citrus instead, although we wouldn't be able to fit a city over here if we do that. Definitely, we should have some more cities in this area. They don't look amazing, the location op options at the moment. But I think something like this is a pretty safe bet. We shouldn't have to fight anyone to settle all of this, So, except for perhaps this one. That'll be one of the first we settle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities, ten cities, perhaps, maybe. 
possibly. And who knows? We'll see about this area. It looks like it's surrounded by a ring of city-states, so it might be uh, an area that we can settle fairly safely. Uh, there's a lot of gray here, which means there's no water. Make sure to look at the key in the top right corner to be clear on what these colors mean. But you can always fix that with an aqueduct, and it, uh, we do have you know some mountains around volcanoes to aqueduct to if we felt like it. So, for example, we probably won't put a city here. I think it'd be possibly nice to put one here. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not going to uh, dwell on that too much. We can figure it out as we go along. Uh, this city, I think, makes the most sense for me in this direction right now. After that, we may settle this next. Uh, it at least has okay food right away, and a luxury, and a few hills, and although it'll take a little bit of time to grow the wheat and the floodplains on the desert, make that, you know, something that's actually viable. Yeah, let's just go straight for that one. I don't want to have to worry about my borders over here. All right, and for our next tech, irrigation would be a good choice so that we can get the citrus and the wine online, and nothing else here is super important at the moment. Anyone going for great profits yet? It looks like no. So why don't we sneak in astro astrology and think about putting just like one holy site down. Maybe we can get a religion. Maybe. And if not, it's not bad to have at least some faith. It has a lot of different ways to be used in the game. Uh, all right. So we need to scoot. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. Got a lot of Phoenicians coming over to say hello. Uh, guys? What you doing? We only have a minus two relationship. That's not that bad. Do I have anything to sell them? I do have these foxes, which aren't really helping me anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, now we're taking an amenities hit over here, but it's not that bad. So the Empire is the next civic that we want, almost for sure. I'm going to quick save, because I think this is a stupid idea, because they're almost certainly trying to attack me. Well, I guess we could bring a settler over in this direction to settle something safely. This builder, however, if they declare war on us, we're, uh, we're screwed. Almost time to take out God King. Got to get 25 faith. Wish that had been an option one turn later. I guess I could have planned that by switching out of and back into the civic I was researching, but that's okay. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> oh, Carthage. You can keep running away to make another city anyway. And now this scout is dead if it tries to make it through these lines. Uh, I think this warrior can come in this direction to help out a little bit. Don't have enough gold to buy anything, so we probably should sell these foxes for 265 gold. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Uh, I think we forget about astrology for now and work on archery instead. We can buy a slinger right away. And we can keep working on the... The, the pyramids, rather, for the time being, I think. It's a little gutsy, but since we can buy a slinger and a warrior right away, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay, now you move across the water and attack, and you buy another warrior. Gives us a little more defense anyway, and we can make safe attacks out of the city. Maybe we'll even be able to get our warrior or our builder back very easily. That'd be cool. Scout needs to stay alive. Um, Buenos Aires, are you? No. Okay, we're safe. It's time to have a pantheon. Let's see, do any of these sound very appealing at the moment? None of these. We might go for goddess of festivals. Uh, we will have some plantations. A little extra culture for that would be nice. Pastures? How many pastures we got around? Not very many. More further in this direction. Marsh, oasis, and desert floodplains. Extra production? I mean, that would be hypothetically nice over there. 
and for a city around here, but not for my capital, not for Toulouse. So that doesn't make sense. Divine Spark is always an okay, kind of boring choice to take. Holy Sites are not a priority. So I think we will take Goddess of Festivals. It won't be that impactful, but a little extra culture doesn't hurt. So that's taken care of. Let's roll to the next turn. It would be nice to have a Slinger in here to help defend the city as well. Might even just go ahead and make walls afterwards. That's a lot of warriors. But we'll get a lot of good um, uh, b -b 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 experience from this war. That's not a terrible thing. We will stay right where we are. We're going to fortify and remember, <laughs> most importantly, we will remember that scout. So we can bring it back. I think we could go ahead and attack safely. This slinger is going to stay fortified. You are not going to make the monument or granary right now. I'd love to make the walls, but that's not very realistic. Uh, another slinger, another builder. What are we thinking? We're getting 10 gold per turn, which means it'd be almost 14 turns until we have enough gold to get another builder, which is what this city needs the most. So that's not great. It'd be really nice if I can get this builder back in the next turn. Nope, of course not. Okay, so this slinger could do some damage to this warrior, and I would love to kill this warrior here, but he might die afterwards between... No, uh, yeah, that's a little tight. We do uh, attack over here just to squish that guy down a little bit. Probably should have killed that other warrior. I forgot I was bringing this one in to threaten them a little further. Yeah, this would be a great city for a builder, obviously, but it has decided to prioritize citrus. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, it's going to grow in just five turns, and this will definitely be the next tile. Let's go ahead and get started on the builder. Yeah, 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 yeah. This slinger should get a promotion in the next turn. Yep. And now we move forward. No. Also, no. Let's fortify in place this scout. I want you to just heal, quite honestly. And this would be an amazing place for a campus. Yeah, natural plus five. Too many good campus spots, not enough cities to fulfill them all. That's fine, it distracted you. But I think we will pull back, and we'll swap this slinger in and take the volley promotion, and you'll just heal for a moment. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Yeah, they're doing very poor damage against me, so they're really just wasting their own resources. I'm certainly not going to buy any more military units at this point and if we upgrade this guy into an archer and that'll make short work of all of these units around here uh, we'll go ahead and take free inquiry because for a normal era dedication uh, this will end up getting you the most error score most of the time you get one error score every time you trigger a eureka or uh, an additional error score for constructing a building that provides science as a base yield. It's much easier to get Eurekas than Inspirations in general. You're not going to build many specialty districts in the classical era. I'm not going for a religion, so Exodus of the Evangelist doesn't make sense. Free Inquiry it is. It says I'm losing loyalty. How badly? Not badly. 50 turns is plenty of time to turn things around. Let's go ahead and keep working on astrology just because still we do have a lot of good spots for holy sites and campuses and something to think about. Does not look like there are any religions in the world yet, so it's still competitive. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. Okay, so this guy needs to heal up a little bit and you need to slaughter this warrior here. You're coming back back to heal, you are not going to attack here. You're going to fortify. I don't mind taking another attack from this warrior across, across the river because it takes a really big penalty if it does that. Uh, we'll take irrigation next. Almost got early empire. Still might actually end up getting the uh, pyramids. That'd be super cool. Heal. That's fine. Uh, 
we'll pull this slinger just to the west a teeny bit. Hopefully that slinger will come after us. And um, we can step our archer forward. And this warrior should go find that builder, because it's probably down here somewhere. Uh, what I really do want is state workforce. I don't think I'm about to build a district, though. I haven't even unlocked any districts yet, so we'll take military tradition for the time being. Uh, we'll go ahead and go straight into provision for Magnus, just to get it over with. And, of course, we'll do the usual follow-up with Pingala afterwards. We do want to change our policies. And we've got two builders on the way in Toulouse and Marseille. So I think it makes sense to... Maybe. Let's see how much production we've got. 2.7, 3.6. I think overall we get more of a production boost by putting an Ilkum for faster builders. Discipline doesn't seem that useful at the moment because we're not fighting barbarians. Uh, but at the same time... I don't know. And none of these are particularly useful because I'm not building more units. Uh, loyalty problems are not serious. I imagine Carthage is going to sue for peace relatively oh, soon. I hope. <laughs> I have killed a lot of their units. Uh, we are going to run the Slinger back into the city of Toulouse and upgrade. And that should allow us to kill off all of uh, these guys coming at us pretty easily. We can step this archer forward. It's on woods. That's pretty defensive. I guess we go for writing next. We cannot, at the moment, do pyramids. Only five turns. Man, it would really suck if I don't get those pyramids. Another settler, another builder. I think we put a turn or two into settlers. Uh-huh. Yeah, they got scared. Or ran away. Scout is healed up. Uh, still pretty dangerous to go in that direction in general. Where did that builder go? Okay, we're going to attack this warrior again. Goodness gracious. Uh, what? What? That wasn't supposed to happen, but it's okay. At least it's not under threat. There is the builder. That's good. I'd like to kill off this warrior. I can tank another hit from this warrior, no problem. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's actually not fine. This archer is now probably going to die. Oh, slingers don't do uh, zone of control. That's good. Yeah, you still need to heal. No! Oh. They really stole my builder and I can't get it back because I can't go into the water. That's awful. They have sailing, of course. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and research bronze working. It might blow up uh, one or two campus spots, but it's not going to take out all three of these. So should be fine. Oh, we need to switch back to the pyramids. Pyramids, pyramids. Let's get the pyramids. Slinger's almost dead. Where's the new barbarian camp? Nothing for me to be concerned with, it seems. There's our builder. Okay. Uh, I think this archer does need to make its way down to help out, because these units are just streaming in like crazy. Oh my gosh, 458 combat uh, military strength from Phoenicia. That's scary as well. But we're going to try to play this out. Okay, warrior, you come back. Archer, you should go ahead and take Aerostorm. Go ahead and research mysticism. This builder really wants to get back into the main part of the empire, but maybe we can do something like buy a, a tile and do another chop that way. Policy cards, do we want to change them? Still no. That's fine. Oh, that is so frustrating. If I wasn't streaming, I'd probably re-roll. <laughs> That's how frustrating it is. The pyramids just got 
built by someone else. If I hadn't had to deal with this nonsense from Phoenicia, I would have built them for sure. Oh, well, uh, at least the overflow went into a settler. So we got that settler super fast. That's pretty great. Actually kill that slinger. Um, we'll step onto the marsh and the builder can hide behind that warrior. Keep bringing this archer down. I think we will kind of craftily make our way in the direction of settling down here. We can immediately put a pasture here. That will give Toulouse important production. And how are we doing on loyalty? Not great, so we do need to build that monument. Paris. Holy Site or Campus? Well, let's check again. Oh, goodness. One, two, three, four players are totally viable for getting great profits. No one's been recruited yet, however, so if I wanted to, I probably could snag a Holy Site and get a great profit and have some kind of religion. After losing the pyramids, another gamble doesn't feel great. What shall I do? What shall I do? Comment down below. I'm going to go ahead and try and make a holy site. Why not? Let's try to get a religion for kicks. I'm not playing that optimally. You don't really need to play super optimally on deity, in truth. So we're going to go for it. Let's get a holy site. I'll probably regret it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay, loyalty is getting a little bit worse in here. We may switch Limitanei in to get a little extra loyalty. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kill that warrior. This settler comes over here. I'd really like to make more settlers, but I think we need this situation with Phoenicia to come to an end ASAP. We'll attack first with our super strong archer, and then again with a slightly weaker archer. And I totally forgot about this scout. Of course. This builder needs to stay alive. Okay. I think it is better to harvest this sheep and turn it into a mine. That also gets us a little more population in Toulouse, which should give us a little more time to keep our loyalty not too bad. Hopefully, Monument will be done in 11 turns. Yeah, we'll put Limitanei in, in the next one. I uh, don't really care, but we're going to want sailing sooner or later. Will they take peace now? What? No? I've killed a ton of your units. What are you doing, Phoenicia? Alright, we'll go for state workforce. Uh, we could get an envoy in Fez to get a little extra science. That sounds good to me. We will take a promotion on this archer. And we'll keep moving this archer down to help out. There's Paititi and Valletta. Settler, keep coming. You fortify in place. That will that should be okay. I think we can move this builder over to Marseille. And definitely need a mine. Now is the time to plug in the Matanei. That brings us to 17 turns. There goes three profits. None of which were taken by Sumeria. So Sumeria is getting one next turn. One was taken by Phoenicia, so we don't need to worry about that. And I bet the other one, the other two came from these two sieves as well. There's still a chance of us getting a religion. And we can do open borders now. Sure, maybe he'll give us a little money. Yeah, every little bit helps. We need more luxuries to sell. Citrus wine should do the trick. Yeah, that works. Oh, there's a sieve there I haven't yet discovered. <laughs> You're levying units to try to attack me. 
So desperate. Ah, oh, this is a magnificent city for making money. Definitely put a harbor here and a campus there. That was primarily so we could sell our wine. We need a lot more gold. Things have been pretty slow. But we are about to settle our fourth city. Turn 62. That's not too bad. Keep that friendship going with Gilgamesh. They're sailing. Okay. You can come down here. You can come over this way. Uh, they're already building Petra, so I will not have a Petra city. But this is still not a bad location for a city. The mines will work. The desert floodplains are good enough for growing. Okay harbor. Decent campus. It's fine. Next, let's, I guess, take horseback riding. That's fine. I think you can be a very calm city and just go right ahead and make your monument and granary. Maybe not. Maybe we want a builder first. Then a monument granary. A lot of luxuries. Want those monopolies up as quickly as possible. So Marseille, you're not an amazing city, but you're okay. Calais, we would love it to grow quickly. So we're going to go ahead and put a fishing boat on these tiles here. I guess this scout just has to run home to stay safe. It's crazy. I'm glad I remembered it at least. Now we'll put Pingala in Toulouse as well. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to hold on to it, no problem. Okay, let's get that citrus online. And now I think I want you to focus on your basic infrastructure. The monument and the granary. Nope, we are not going to get a great profit. I regret building this. New, I would regret building it. I could try to make Stonehenge to eke out. <laughs> it's pretty desperate. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's worth it. That would just mean I'd be delaying the creation of the rest of my empire. I'll just go into a settler after finishing up this holy site. At least the holy site will give me uh, some decent error score. Scout can hang out here just to be aware, make sure that we're aware of what's going on in our empire. Let's get those turtles and this builder. Honestly, I'd like to just chop out this stone and put a farm on uh, this rice so this city can grow fast, fast, fast. Uh, you can fortify for a moment. That's okay. Finally killed that warrior, and we will move you onto this tile so you cannot be attacked in the next turn. Oh, well, that'll be easy iron to acquire. Uh-huh. That's actually a good thing, since it did some damage. They in my territory. I healed up fairly well. And a little experience, and prevents it from attacking the city or pillaging this citrus. I'm going to leave my scout there for one more turn. Do that. That almost finishes the monument, which is great. Uh, I like chopping out monuments and granaries actually coming back around this way you shoot this warrior it's dead 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 you attack that warrior that's a levied warrior so it's just two archers and one warrior <laughs> it's i guess two warriors it's not that hard to hold off uh ai especially if you use your terrain uh, decently okay so that's pretty much all this scout can handle for now First, we, uh, we, we will attack this warrior with the archer, and then again with my warrior. That's Scythia. It would be nice to have actually met them. So we're going to hide in here for a few turns, I suppose. This warrior is going to try to come back up and heal up and blah, 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 blah. Could put a mine down there. Will not put a mine down there at the moment. Or should I? I you need more production. Yeah, put mine down for now. That's okay. We'll get another fast builder soon. Uh, absolutely, we'll want to go to political philosophy. We will put Pingala into Toulouse and no longer need to worry about loyalty. So we don't need this plugged in. We can instead do conscription just to save a little gold. Uh, I think we will switch over to urban planning as well. We're not currently building builders, so just 
one extra production in each city. Oh, we're making one builder. But one production in each city is better than 30% faster production speed on just one builder in one city. Let's continue. All right, Skiddy has met me. What's up? So you saw me somewhere. Probably around here. Uh, this archer can attack that warrior. That's perfect. We'll heal our warrior up. This archer is safe. Um, yeah, there's just no way. We can't catch up. Great profits, realistically. Tamir, so sell me furs for two gold per turn. All my cities are no longer unhappy, so that's cool. I still should fill in this city as soon as I can, but she needs to be willing to make peace, and so far she is not. So I think we have to slowly push them back and then, I don't know, attack her cities a little bit. There's Lady Sixkaya of the Maya. We want to send her a delegation immediately. Oh gosh, I forgot to do it with Skidia. That's a bummer. Uh, let's go ahead and do open borders, though, with anyone that doesn't instantly hate me. Oh, you want one gold per turn for open borders? But you. Well, better than nothing. Do we still have open borders? It looks like we do. You can almost insta-kill this slinger. 90 damage in one shot. Feels pretty good. There's horseback riding. Okay, I guess we're gonna move forward with our units a little bit. Maybe we can get a couple pillages off or something like that. that sounds somewhat useful. You can hit from there, so we will go ahead and kill that unit. How are we doing on XP? Already almost level 4 on this archer. That's wild. Uh... Currency sounds pretty good. We can get some early industries around here. Be nice to find another copy of furs. That would be an okay industry to have in my capital. I don't think there are any other luxuries in range of the capital. Yeah, so that would be the only one we could get. Let's do a quick search for furs. One, two. Okay, so that's probably not going to happen. Not anytime soon, anyway. And Toulouse, why don't you go ahead and get to work on a plus five campus for 75 gold I think yes that will really help us out we'll protect the archer attack Sporting. I have no idea how Phoenician city names are pronounced kill this barbarian just because we can and we don't want it to bring back its barbarian buddies to bother us Surprised this Byreme hasn't attacked my cities at all. And what's this guy doing over here? Where did he even come from? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay, so we need a unit in here, a cheap unit. Um, I think we will attack this chariot, and you will fortify in place. Can pillage the farm the next turn for 50 health recovery. Heal the scout. I think this warrior needs to come back to deal with nonsense from this warrior, and we are going to keep bringing this archer forward. The two of them combined might be able to do a little bit of damage. I don't know. I don't imagine that we will conquer this city. It'd be cool if we did. It's pretty unrealistic. Oof. Oof. I forgot to put a that's real bad. I had the money for it too. Okay, pillage for health. Take a promotion. Arrow storm. You move forward. We should be able to kill that chariot. No problem in the next turn. I will absolutely reload if putting. Should we buy a galley? Let's try. If that galley can keep the city alive this turn, we will not reload. Alright, it is time for another government changeover. Class classical Republic is what I typically prefer. However, melee, anti-cav, naval melee, extra four combat strength. Uh, we don't have that many melee units that we're using. Extra experience sounds nice, but it's not a big deal. 
I think we are probably just going to go to Classical Republic. Might be a controversial take, but I'm doing it. I like faster settler production. I would like cheaper units, maybe. I'll go with that for now. Eli is still alive. All right, and with the just barely successful survival of Calais, and we're going to call this the end of the first episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. This is the Long Lost Gamer, signing out.